so sleepy. I am so sleepy. I slept so little the past few nights, and I did it on purpose. And now I'm gonna stay up late on purpose. And I can't even explain why. Um, that's just that's just how I am. Why am I not moving in the game? Why am I just talking to you? It's because I'm setting an alarm that I forgot to set before the video started. I'm so sleepy. But I'm gonna have fun playing this game and I'm very excited to have fun playing a game while I'm so sleepy that I can't even think. I can't even remember what I was doing. I think there was a lot of things I could be doing. And I was frustrated because I couldn't get that rock to break. Screw you, man. Oh, man. Why are you all the way up here? How did you get all the way up there? I wasn't up there. Man. But you know what? I am actually, now that I have my stuff back... Almost pressed the wrong button. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Did press the wrong button. Um, I am going... To leave. Secluded lift side chamber. Rampart tower. Secluded cell. I don't remember this being a cell. Um, I'm gonna leave. Because look at this nice little spiral this is making. Um I wanna do something real quick. And I'm just gonna teleport to do it. And then teleport back. Because, otherwise, I will forget. Um, that is to go talk to this lady again. Because I killed what looked like the grafted scion that I fought in the beginning. And he didn't respawn, either. And he looked like a spider. And he was in a room full of grafting. So he might have been the one that she was talking about. And then close to that ish I found and I think it was a key item this which is a memento left by the chrysalids sacrificed for grafting I don't know what the chrysalids are I don't think I saw a chrysalid unless the grafted scion was a chrysalid which it doesn't seem like maybe the chrysalids were the hanging arms fused together they didn't talk though like she seemed to suggest they would Anyways, I want to talk to her and see if she wants this thing. I thought your house was on fire for a second. A pleasure to see you. Did you give the little chrysalids the message? Maybe. That I love them. And that despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. Is it a club? Yeah, I'm going to give her this. What's this? A keepsake. Oh, my men. Oh, goodness me. I can't. <laughs> they all believed in me. They all thought I'd make something of myself. Me. Who can't do anything. I think I'll head to the round table hold. Perhaps I'll find my purpose there. Really? I think I'll head to the round table hold. Perhaps. I think I'll head to the round table hold. Perhaps I'll find my purpose there. Sorry, I just wanted to hear her say purpose there one more time. Purpose there. Purpose there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, I guess that's all I wanted to do. Um. Mmm. Tell you what, I I am. Uh, hmm. I wonder if Patches has stuff. I didn't even think about this. I am tempted to go try and fight Darwell, since I only recently realized that he was that that the that it was the boss that I had briefly fought and then ran away from, and the same person that I think I think the same person that Blythe was talking about. That's actually based entirely on memory. 
I, I saw the name Darwill in the boss fight in my video and I was like, doesn't that sound like what Blythe said? But I don't really remember what Blythe said, so. Do I have to go all the way? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay, I have to kill a bunch of guys. And he was in here, right? There's a new chest. I should talk to him first, probably. Well, nice of you to drop in finally. It's all a bit ad hoc, but I'm sure you'll find something. And welcome to Patches Emporium, where you won't need a refund because everything's top notch. He talks so modern. Yeah, I had those bandits make a clean break. Now they're all suppliers, and good ones at that. I mean. They don't understand a word I'm saying, but it hardly matters. We have a natural connection. <laughs> but you do. They're all foot soldiers, survivors of a defeated army, worked to the bone by their high and mighty lord, only to be thrown out with the rubbish. <sighs> it's the same old story everywhere I go. <sighs> to hell with it all. Wondering what's inside the treasure chest. Well, it's a uh, nothing too special. Just something I'm saving as thanks for a very valuable customer. Oh. But then again, it would fetch some spectacular coin. And besides, this valuable customer could be a long time coming. Huh? Everything is give and take. Give and take. So it's uh wait, of course it is. It's a way to kill me. Fan daggers? A set of five thrower knives bundled together. Concealed weapon cherished by the raptor assassins. The thin knives fan out when thrown, dealing damage to the target. Each knife deals paltry damage. The wide range makes it suitable for constraining enemies. Margit's shackle briefly binds Margit once imprisoned to earth. A fetish bathed in golden magic. What the fuck? Shackles were used to bind the accursed people called the Omen. Hmm. I just realized Omen could be like, oh, men. Like the... Huh. And these ones were made to keep a particular Omen under strictest confinement. Though faint, the shackles still retain vestiges of power. Enough to trap the once bound Margit on earth. If only for a short time. Grace Mimic. Oh. My. God. Freaking finally. Is this what I think it is? A fetish indicating the guidance of Grace. Craftable item. Similar to Grace, this fetish draws rays guiding the way. Only without any sense of order. What? Useful as a last resort for those who have lost their way. For use by those who believe that unrefined guidance will lead to a truer encounters. Okay, I thought it was going to be like a homeward bone, but it's not. I don't understand this at all. I might have to buy one just to see what it does. Or maybe a bunch. Parrying dagger. Okay. A knife with curved hand guards designed to parry, turning foes' attacks against them. For masters of combat who anticipate every enemy strike and counter accordingly, this weapon is all they need. Missionary's cookbook. Make script stone, which I don't know what that is. Grace mimic. Oh, I can make them. And gold pickled fowl foot. Well, I'm definitely going to need that. And a stone sword key. I don't need that. Great arrow. Horse crest wooden shield. Only 87 damage to reduction. Sacrificial twig, which I'm never going to use, let's be honest. Um, okay, I need 5,000. 10,000. Oh, forget about leveling up, I guess. And, well, I can get this now. So I will. Cheers for that. I'm mostly curious. Oh, what uh, what the ingredients of these are? Early flower and human bone shards uh, found by hunting those who live in death. Is that just a word for skeletons, or is it like a faction? What do I have that I might be able to sell? 
Probably nothing very valuable, eh? Don't sell a key item. Key item. Uh, I'm never going to use this, so... I could sell these for sure. I'll sell my extras. At least. Forgot something on your shopping list. No, no trouble to me. This dude is like from the 20th century at least. A hundred, huh? Very little. Hmm. Oh, I have some extras of these. Are these identical? These are identical. Only a hundred. Well, at least it gets it off my plate. I haven't leveled up anything, so. any reason I would regret that. Hmm. It's an extremely subtle difference. Extremely subtle difference. This will maybe add up. Nothing I have is very valuable at all, huh? Not even these. God. Cheers for that. Okay, well I need ten thousand, which is just so much that I wonder what the Newman rune gives. I am actually going to look something up for the first time, because I've only got one. I don't need to know where to find it. I need to know what it does. Damn it. I don't want to find it. Newman. Newman's rune. 12,500. Wow. Well, that's more than I need for sure. Something on your shirt. No, no. Purchase all of these. Why not? I need ten thousand. And twelve thousand let me get that too. Which I don't particularly want, but I could use it. I suppose. Yeah, fuck it. Cheers for that. Screw it, who cares? Let's do it. Forgot something on you. No, no trouble to me. Um. Why not? for that yeah cheers to you for that let's see um well that's quite fun and I don't know what to do with it wait what is is this new thingy for Margaret what is this oh right uh is it a tool it's Margaret thing oh I wish I had names for these categories so I understood more what they were
Alright, well, let's find out what happens. I guess I've got nothing to lose, right? And we're here. Uh-huh. Yeah, figures. That's what I do, my friend! Well, well, well. I should have known, you scheming little thief. The gods demand vengeance. Vengeance! Why does he sound like George Costanza? The gods demand vengeance, Jerry! Vengeance! Well, they demand vengeance. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how you would do Kramer. <laughs> so sleepy. Oh, they demand vengeance, Jerry. <laughs> See, I told you. They demand vengeance. Vengeance! Oh, it's true. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so bad at this. Oh, I, I've seen it. They demand vengeance. The gods demand vengeance? I, this is just fucking the Misty Woods. Am I supposed to have, like, never been here and be confused of where I am? The gods demand vengeance and you send me here? That bear doesn't even aggro. I've never managed to make that bear aggro. Also, can't I just freaking teleport back to where he is? Um. I cannot. That. That is new. That is new. You've been trapped. You cannot travel to sites of grace until you rest in one. Oh, well, that's easy. I know where they all are. I've been trapped? Hardly. I do not feel trapped. This is a massive world, and I know my way around it. But... Oh, and I also can't place, uh... Oh, I can't place a beacon. I'm gonna place a beacon right there. I'm gonna place a beacon just to make this easier. Because I've only been to that cave once, and it was a while ago. Like, I know my way back from here to where I was in the castle before. Um, but not immediately how to get to Patches from here. And I want to visit Patches, because I feel like there's more to this than around little interaction. Trapped, though, is a generous assessment. I gotta say, Patches, this might be your weakest attack. Ah, yeah, I forgot that I encountered him after my getting my blood blade. Of course I did, though. That's where, like, where I first used my blood blade and almost killed him because I didn't understand it. I could have made it that if I made it back without the marker if I had remembered that part, but it has simply been too long. Wait, uh, so hold on. Is this anything different? Now I can use them again. Nice trap, buddy. What did that take me? A minute and a half? For a second I thought I'd, like, done something bad, but there's just bells here, and I forgot about it. 
and I avoided them by accident last time. Whatever, guys. Uh, I was guarding. I'm in hood, which I think I already had. Is this gonna be like a second boss fight with patches? Cause that'd be kind of fun. Nah. Ah, oh, why in? You're alive. Oh, you had me proper scared, puffing away in a flash like that. Well, maybe it's a sign to keep your mitts off what's not rightly yours, hmm? But I'll forgive you. View it as a learning experience. At any rate, it's just nice to see you safe. Oh, don't miss all the bargains here at Patches Emporium. <laughs> well, I got a gesture out of it. Um, interesting thing there. His voice lines did not match uh, the subtitles. Cheers for that. And that was extremely weak sauce for you, Patches. Usually you genuinely kind of get close to fucking me over. Yeah, like you're surprised I'm alive? What? But I teleported you about a mile away into a peaceful spot in the woods. How did you survive? Really? Uh, how do I get out of here? Right, it's coming to miss. I swear, his shop even jingles on your way in. This dude is, like, from the future. Alright, um, do I fight Darwell while I'm here? You know what? Yeah, I do. Uh, I don't think I have any... This will disappear if I get close to it, right? I don't think that I have any nearby to Dariwil... ...like... ...stuff. Uh... Sights of Grace. Um, but, um... This is Lake of Gale? I don't think I made that connection. But of course, that does make some sense. But I generally know how to get there, and I was gonna say not sure how to get there from here, but actually, if I'm in Lake of Gale, I absolutely know how to get there from here. I think that's just a flask healing one, but I guess I have to find out. Yeah, it's just a flask healing one. Okay, my memory's a little fuzzy, I'll be honest. It's generally speaking, generally speaking, it is like north ish, east ish of Lake Agil, and not too far. Right? Have I been here? No.
Okay. Uh, there's a Miranda flower here this whole time. I didn't mean to do that three times. There's a whole thing down here. Have I been here? Huh. I have not been here. Lasted longer than I thought it would. Oh boy. I built up fast. Can you chill? Oh boy. You are not chilling. Some bloom, Miranda powder, golden herb one. This is an early game spot, ain't it? I just missed it. Uh, I kind of want to get up high before I go low. I guess I was not at a spot where I could summon. Uh huh. I see you. Gonna have to drop down. Miranda flowers don't, are just kind of randomly placed. It's weird. They feel like they're like in important spots, but not really meshing particularly with their environment. I can get up here, right? I'm gonna have to, right? Ah. Of course, there's a very easy way to get up, and I was doing the hard way. Da -da -da -da. that item. Am I too high up? Can I not see it? Oh, there it is. Are you kidding? <sighs> That's obnoxious. <laughs> very obnoxious. My least favorite thing in video games is when it's obvious how to do something and yet not easy. I like puzzles, you know? Once I've figured it out, I can do it. And like, oh fuck. It's like a, like a physical puzzle exists, you know? It's not like there's just, it's not like like, if, if it's, like, not figuring out how it should be done, but how I personally should do it because of my own physical limitations, that's fine. Like, I can accept that. But if it's obviously just, like, a bit of fuckiness of the mechanics, like that, or finagliness, like, like, come on. I can, I can roll with the fact that there was a lot of stuff in Celeste that, like, I knew how to do it, but I couldn't do it, and I was fine with that. But this one? That felt like the game's fault, man. That was just obnoxious. Um, it's also the reason that inside is better than limbo. It's because inside makes that mistake too often. It's too often easy to see how something is done to solve the puzzle, and yet 
have a hard time of it because, oh, this is a boss. The hell? I could hear the boss. But it was hard to have it. It was hard to do it sometimes because the, the physics of, of um, Limbo were just a little janky. Uh, inside, it's perfect in every way. Um, is there like a nearby stake of Marika that I'm just not noticing, and that's why I don't need a side of grace? I feel like I'm really far away from a side of grace. And it'll be messy if I try and do this and then get back. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Um, I will simply try and fight the boss. And then if I die, I will actually do what I was supposed to be doing. Oh, it's just you? I, wait, his name is Pumpkinhead canonically? I was calling him that as a joke. Totally guarding, but okay. Ah, oh, damn. And he's building up bleed. I have to be really careful of that. fighting with my imps here. Really, he got me? Oh. Should have got me there. Done, boys. Thank you for your service. You are dismissed. You're also dismissed. Are you okay, man? Feeling okay? Okay. Hey, there's that side of grace. Now we can fight the boss. Oh, wait. Um, I'm blown away that the random name that I called him is the same name as he actually is because it seems so silly. I mean, it's a perfectly apt description, so I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, but... Still, when does that ever happen, you know? That your, like, goofy nickname that you randomly give the boss is... Actually what the game calls it. Um... Is this place big? Cause... Excuse me. Okay, that's where I came down from. Nah, this is probably just treasure or something, right? Did I get something for beating him? I did not see. Also... Uh, okay, that's not that much. Hello? Um. Okay, it's like a lady stone head. I guess. Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Salen, a sorcerer, <gasps> quite plainly. Why are you here? Wait, Selen? The person the town's named after? Uh, obviously I want to win sorcery. Ah, a yen for glintstone sorceries. Well, your aptitude does appear... ...passable. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. As a reviled, apostate witch. Do that's you my... still wish to learn from me? Dude, that's my whole jam! <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. I am. Very well. 
You are now my protege in Glimstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. I love her. She's my favorite character in the game. Okay, first of all, uh, I sort of suspected this already, but the implication is heavily that these guys is... Like, I'm just thinking about this again because I haven't seen one of these in a while, and also that now I'm seeing one with a different head, but, like, all of that kind of just reminds me. Like, these guys, that's their head, right? I don't think that's a helmet. I think that their heads are giant stone heads. I think the thing that implies that the most is the big balls of their heads that I fight. Um, I love that she's barefoot. I love how weird her outfit is compared to her head. I love that she's got, like, hold on. Like, green spikes for a hat? <laughs> like, she's got green crystals growing out of her head for a hat. I love that there's a whole town named after her, and that it's implied that that's a town of heretic sorcerers, which I didn't know before. I don't think. Maybe that was implied in the Nox sorcerer so sword stresses weapon, but I can't remember. Um, and above all, I love that she's really giving me Quilana vibes, and Quilana is my favorite FromSoft character. Um, I love her so much. So, give a scroll. Oh, is she a like a, a covenant? Cause yes, please. God, I wish I hadn't spent all that. I need that Newman's rune, although really none of this is as expensive. But there's more of it. Glenstone Pebble. I think I might already have this. Nope. Okay. I, I think I already had the ability to buy it somewhere. The most basic Glenstone Sorcerer of the Academy of Raya Lucaria. I thought that you were kicked out of Lucaria's club. Um, uh, one of the Glenstone Sorcerers of Academy of Raya Lucaria, Glenstone Stars. Fires three magic shooting stars that pursue the target and suck ass. I hate this one. I mean, I remember being attacked by it is what I mean. Charging enhances potency. A sorcery of the Old Venus Conspectus, who, which attracts sorcerers from Celia. Town of sorcery. What is the Old Olivenus Conspectus? It sounds like it's something at the Academy, but why would it attract sorcerers from... Is her name Cella just like a coincidence? Is the town not named after her? Maybe it's not. Of the gloom... Oh, yeah, okay. Fire is a horizontal arc of magic that spreads outward. This sorcery can be cast repeatedly and while in motion. Granted to sorcerers who depart from the academy to embark on journeys in order to fend off large groups of would-be adversaries. Fools often roam in packs. Okay, that's a weird thing to add. Crystal Barrage. Fires a volley of crystals. Sorcerer of the Crystal Cadre. Cater. Cater. I don't know how to pronounce that. A group of sorcerers who pursue the wisdom of stone. The secrets locked in the faint cogitation of the Crystalians. <laughs> Crystalians? That's the dumbest name for anything I ever heard. Um, yeah, I was figuring that would be a lot of intelligence because it mentioned the wisdom of stone. Scholar's armament. Enchant's armament held in right hand with magic affinity attacks. Scholar's shield. Same thing. Uh, top by the Knights of the Cuckoo. Of, uh, to the Knights of the Cuckoo by the Academy as payment for their contract. Uh, this one, too. Mm, this is the one I'm most interested in, and I can afford it. So, I'll be back later. <gasps> I was like, I wish I had a scroll to give her, and I freaking do! Ah, is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. I love her. Why is what is her accent? Uh, well, I should have saved my runes. The stone phalanx. One of the sorcerers of the Carrion royal family creates a defensive arc of magic glint blades overhead, which automatically attack nearby foes. Multiple? Or automatically attack? Oh, and it'll just be around you. Bestowed upon the enchanted Carrion... Oh, man, I need this. Holy crap. How much do I... I don't have enough intelligence. I only need two more. Well, I need to do this. 
who combined with the art of their swordsmanship and blah blah blah, whatever. Carrion Slicer conjures a magic sword and delivers a swift sweeping slash. This sorcery can be used without delay after performing another action. Even among the carrion sword sorcerers, this is notably effective technique, and I can wield it right away. Um, nothing else is new, right? Okay, um, this looks like a trilobite. Is that just a coincidence, or is it actually a trilobite? Um... Young apprentice, first things first. You are a tadpole when it comes to magic. Yes. Infantile. I am. Without the legs to walk. I agree. So, to become a sorcerer, first, you must face your ignorance. Now, shall we start learning? <laughs> yes, mommy. Um, why would she be guarded by this pumpkin guy? I can't believe I just stumbled across this. This seems so hard to find. But it's like what I've been looking for. I had stuff f to give her for a long time. You wish to continue the lesson? Very well. I have time aplenty. Ah, uh, I was hoping she'd berate me more. Um... Uh oh. I was just trying to get out of a stuck spot, ma'am. I, 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 I'm so sorry. You wish to continue the lesson? Very well. I have time aplenty. Okay, she doesn't seem to care about furniture. Just like a true scholar. A true scholar wouldn't. You know? A true scholar would not care about uh, furniture. She's she's a good true scholar. Uh, 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 I don't have enough money, right? Like at all? I have ten golden runes too. Are those four hundred each? That's four thousand, dude. How much do I need to get what I want? You wish to continue very well. Fifteen hundred. Twenty-five hundred. Isn't that exactly what I need? <laughs> Please give 400, or else I will be quite embarrassed. Um, 4,000? Oh, baby. You wish to continue very well. Um, actually, I don't know for sure if I do want this, but I think I do. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you, ma'am. Well, I can try out one of these already. Hmm. Ah. Of course. Wait. Hold on. Wait a second. I thought the memory stones... Memory stones are key items. I can't use them. Do I just have more memory slots now because I have this? I thought I had to equip them as talismans. Well, that's exciting. Dude, I, I just need to have them. Isn't there a place where I can buy a lot more of those? I need to go do that. Man, where was it? Maybe the Kaled Merchant? Hmm. Well, obviously, let's equip the ones I can currently equip. Or can currently use, I mean. Uh, check it out, watch out, Wait a second. Wait a second. Can I wheel this now? No, I can't. Oh, I just can't see that it's unavailable because I can't see the red X against the orange flame. Um, did I actually unequip those? No, I didn't. Okay. Sweet, I'm excited now. I'm excited and I'm tempted to go all the way to the Kaelid guy to get, I think, more memories things? Oh, oh shit. That makes a lot of sense. Um, 
I don't necessarily want that guy to be my first target, but um, I think that's a whole boss fight. That's what that is. Uh, oh, okay, my horse can't fit through there. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. I guess I'm fighting a wolf. I see items over there. Oh, oh, hi. Nearby wolf. Uh. Cry the light. <laughs> Sorry, that was a really gross laugh. Okay, that's pretty fun. Alright, let's try the other one. The range on that sucks. It's very fast though. Not fast enough. That's a really hard one to use. It's a very awkward feeling. Look at all this money. I feel like I always find these right after I... Right, that's not gonna work. How about just blow back? I feel like every time that I spend a bunch of money, I almost immediately find one of these again. Is it just luck? Man, this spot's early game. These are barely useful to me. I guess I was supposed to come here, like, super early. Which makes sense. I mean, that chariot that I saw on the road just now, that was, um... Look at me glowing golden because of this fall. What is that? What does it do? Uh, that was in the trailer, is what I was going to say. That stuff was in the trailer, so of course it's early. Early game. Um... Dariwil, Dariwil, Dariwil. Where were you? I don't think it's going to say, unless this is it. Yura. I heard that a little later than I wanted to. Nerd. Um... Well, I guess I'm going to decide what I'm doing and do it next time because it is time to end this video and that is that where are you darla seems like it should be easy to find a guy that's surrounded by purple lamp posts you know oh well <laughs>